Great. Thank you very much, Anne. So I want to start by thanking the panelists who are on our town hall. Um, Lex Riefel is the source of several of our big ideas, and Julian Joyce spoke about climate change programs. So our first big idea, as I was listening to the different speeches, it just came back over and over again to what uh, Mr. Kulchandra Gautam said, which is that solidarity, unlike charity, is a two-way street. So our first big idea is about making Peace Corps a two-way exchange program, where not only do volunteers go to host countries, but volunteers from host countries come to serve in the US. And that would really match better with our values as Peace Corps. You know, Peace Corps is about mutual exchange of ideas and knowledge. And it's true that volunteers are learning from their host communities. But people who are not able to learn to leave and join Peace Corps are not getting that experience. Um, and, you know, he also talked about a colonial mentality. When we come to them and they don't come to us, it builds up that mentality. So Peace Corps should really consider looking at how to become a two-way exchange program. Our second big idea is about customized assignments. And this is especially important for volunteers who are older and have specialized skills. Sometimes Peace Corps has posted all these different assignments and someone may have skills that don't fit their assignments, but they're really useful skills that a host country needs. So if Peace Corps could give the option of letting people propose assignments, of putting out their skills and say, this is what I can do, that would really be helpful in recruiting more of these older and mid-career experts. Our third big idea was about climate change. Many of our host countries are already seeing the impacts of climate change. We have countries in the South Pacific that are seeing rising seas. We see farmers in Africa dealing with droughts and floods. And Peace Corps is really in a unique position to work on the grassroots level and to help our communities understand, prepare, and adapt. Um, most of the participants in the town hall agreed that climate change does not really need to be a new program because current programs in education, agriculture, health, and environment, they really all overlap with climate change. So climate change would be strongest as a cross-cutting initiative where all volunteers are trained in climate change programs and work on it in relation to their sector. We have five other conversation topics that were not exactly big ideas, but were more about strengths and weaknesses. Um, in some countries, Peace Corps has very strong partnerships with local NGOs or with international organizations. They're effective, they help make programs more sustainable, and they help increase the reach of Peace Corps. So those programs should be maintained and expanded. Um, second, Peace Corps is very, very good at some things. Peace Corps is excellent at building community relationships, at integration, as well as culture and language training. So as these big ideas are integrated, Peace Corps should not forget these strengths, but rather should build on them. As we know, everyone has weaknesses, and some of the historic weaknesses and continuing weaknesses in Peace Corps have been monitoring and evaluation, as well as sustainability. Uh, monitoring and evaluation is often focused on process, but it needs to focus more on impacts. Congress loves numbers, so Peace Corps also loves numbers, but a lot of things we do are more qualitative and those qualitative measures should be included. Um, as you've heard many times this afternoon, diversity and inclusion is a cross-cutting challenge that Peace Corps faces. Peace Corps needs to work harder to make volunteers and staff feel more included, have a truly welcoming environment, recruit more diverse volunteers and add more training on racism and bias. Um, lastly, we asked a question. We asked, would Peace Corps be stronger as a private NGO? And the answer that was heard in the town hall was a resounding no. While many participants said yes, a private organization could have more autonomy, Peace Corps would lose the credibility that comes from being backed by a government. Peace Corps volunteers would lose the benefits that are provided by the federal government. The funding might become greater, but it would also become less reliable and the priorities of Peace Corps could be changed by having to search for funding. Um, so overall, we had those three big ideas, the two-way exchange, the customized assignments, and climate change. And we suggest that Peace Corps keep and build on its strengths, but also work on those weaknesses. Thank you very, uh, thank you very much for listening, and thank you everyone for your service in Peace Corps.